Why Zeta? Today is Wednesday, January 24th. I'm Lauren Leesberg. And I'm Caroline Hansen. I'm Maggie Reed. Two students were killed and 17 were injured yesterday when a 15-year-old student was with a handgun at Marshall High School in Kentucky. According to Time, the shooting occurred as students gathered in the common area just before class began. Students fled the school, some even running down the highway. This was the nation's first fatal shooting of 2018. The suspect was led away in handcuffs and is being charged with murder and attempted murder. Governor Matt Bevan released a statement in regards to the shooting, saying, This is a tremendous tragedy and speaks to the heartbreak present in our community. It is unbelievable that this would happen in a small, close-knit community like Marshall County. Toys R Us is planning on closing down more than 180 of their stores in the United States, according to CNN. The franchise has been troubled for a while as they declared bankruptcy last September. According to the company's lawyers, the decision was prompted by increased competition and a rise in online shopping. The closures will start next month and are expected to be completed by the end of April. Toys R Us CEO Dave Brandon commented on the planned closures, saying the actions we are taking are necessary to give the best chance to emerge from our bankruptcy proceedings as a more viable and competitive company. That's all I have for news. Now let's go learn a little bit more about recycling. Definite number at recycling facilities they could have as little as you know, three or four percent contamination, or as much as twenty percent. Um, either way, we want to try to minimize it as much as possible, and I think under ten percent would be a good goal. For organics, there has to be less than ten percent contamination. Otherwise, the compost site um, doesn't accept it. Make sure the organics is clean, so the compost they're making um, that's going back into gardens is also, you know, good quality. Sophomores and juniors, please check your email for information about the ACT testing day. See Ms. Boyd in the second floor admin office with questions. Club YAS volunteers are needed at Greenwood Kindness Retreat on February 2nd. Stop by the Club YAS office to sign up and pick up a permission form. Driver education classes for February's registration are now open online. Informational flyers are available in the floor offices with details. Don't wait until the last minute to register. If you drive to school, check your permit. If you have a semester permit, it will expire on Thursday. Please go online and renew your permit and pick one, a new one up in the second floor admin office. If you're stressing about finals this week, be sure to head to H125 by the new gyms after school to pet some therapy animals. Not only are they adorable, they will help calm you and your friends down. You know, it's funny, you don't think of like the therapy animals as a, a good stress reliever, but we had one in here this morning and it really is fantastic how relaxed it, it helps you get relaxed, it's yeah. really nice. Yeah, I pet Cooper for like 15 minutes. Oh, exactly, yeah, it's just, it really does help relieve the stress. Mm-hmm. Now let's head over to Otto with weather. Uh, good morning, Wyzetta, and welcome back to the weather. You know, Cooper came in here uh, a little while ago, and he's such a great dog. I think a lot of you should go check him out. Yeah, he's adorable and completely relieved me from all my stress. Anyways, let's get into the weather. It's strange seeing you guys here on a Wednesday. Uh, for today's weather, it'll be uh, kind of a mid-temperature, 28, feeling the same thing as it was this morning, a little cold, uh, lots of clouds. Forecast predicts that we'll be experiencing temperatures in the mid-20s for uh, those clouds to stick around for a while. Uh, as for later tonight, we won't expect anything new other than just a slight temperature drop with a high of 22 degrees and a low of 17 degrees. Tomorrow morning we'll wake up to a bit colder weathers, but uh, partly cloudy skies. Though fortunately for us, it's expected the, for the temperature to rise tomorrow afternoon into the mid-20s and which, with much clearer skies. Forecast is expecting the weather to only get warmer in the next few days. The perfect timing for our stress busters week. Well, that's all I got for weather today, Wyzetta. Remember to get out there and enjoy the warm weather to relieve any stress you may have. Now, we'll be right back after this commercial break. So our 
Legacy Project is a big banner and in the center is going to be 2018 with all the seniors like little pictures in it and then in the outside is going to be a bunch of white space that all the seniors can sign their name to like kind of leave their mark on Wyzetta and we hope to hang it up like in the building somewhere so all the seniors can see it. So for the Legacy Project for Short Fiction we are doing teacher appreciation and we're recognizing all the teachers and all the hard work they put into all their students. My group's legacy project is focusing on getting cell boosters installed in the school's first floor so that teachers that have classes down there that don't have cell service during the school day and students who don't have cell service during those classes have service so that if they need to get reached in an emergency situation, they can. My legacy project is discussing the social challenges of being a twin and multiple in Wayzata High School, which is different from being a sibling or singleton in Wayzata. Our legacy project is emphasizing recycling and changing the culture about how kids like throw their things away and what they do during lunch with their trays and afterwards. So our legacy project is finding more school days that the students can take off and more teacher development days for the teachers to all get their work together, get grading done, and figure out what they're doing for the semester. So I imagine all that snow we got Monday has been a big help for these skiers. Been yeah, nice. it sure has. Good morning, Wyzetta. Boys Nordic Ski placed fourth in their late conference meet last night with 454 points. Eden Prairie took home first place with a score of 559. Girls Nordic Ski also placed fourth in their late conference meet last night with 473 points. Edina took home first place, finishing with 544 points. The girls hockey game scheduled for last night against Breck was postponed due to the weather. It has been rescheduled for February 6th at 4 p.m. Boys Swim and Dive will compete in the True Team State Tournament at 6 p.m. at the University of Minnesota Aquatic Center. Good luck to all those who are participating. In professional sports news, the Timberwolves beat the Los Angeles Clippers 126 to 118 on Monday night. Both, without both Jimmy Butler and Jamal Crawford, Andrew Wiggins was able to step up and drop 40 points in the win. They will take on the Portland Trailblazers tonight at 9 o'clock. Finally, the Minnesota Wild beat the Ottawa Senators on Monday night 3 to 1. Alex Stalock made 37 saves in the win, while Zach Parise, Jason Zucker, and Mikhail Granlin all scored a goal. The Wild have now won eight of their past 12 games and have won seven of their past nine home games. Now back to the anchors. College visits are starting up again. Check Naviance or stop by the CCC to see which schools will be visiting. The application deadline for the 2017 President's Volunteer Service Award is Friday, February 2nd. Submit a printed copy of your application form to the Club YES office and contact Mrs. Badger in the Club YES office with any questions. Juniors and sophomores are invited to tour Hennepin Technical College on Tuesday, February 13th. Stop by the CCC to pick up a registration form. There will be a brand new event this year at WHS on February 11th called Pose for Hope. Pose for Hope is a black light yoga or bla black light glow yoga for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. Each participant will receive a yoga mat to keep, glow sticks, glow paint, and a one hour yoga session. There will also be raffle prizes. Buy a ticket at tinyurl.com slash poseforhope before January 31st. On behalf of the Wyzetta Technical crew, Maggie Reese and Atta Ramadan. I'm Sam Sklar. I'm Caroline Hansen. And I'm Lauren Leesberg. Don't forget to stop by and pet those stress dogs after school today and have a great day, Wyzetta.